This is the city of Bern, the splendid capital of Switzerland. The historic town center is one of the most stylish I have seen in Europe. In the main street, the Confiserie Chiren has a very tempting display of cakes and chocolates and sells the classic Swiss creation, the carrot cake. You cannot come to Switzerland without tasting the chocolate. Mm, they really know how to make it. The friendly Saturday market is a popular outing for the Bernese. It is the ideal place for me to discover the gourmet specialties. The breads and large brioche are going fast. The butcher sells many cats of veal, one of the most popular meat in Switzerland. Switzerland is synonymous with great cheeses. Just think of Gruyère, raclette, and a very popular Emmentaler. The green valley of Emmental, half an hour from Bern, is where the big cheese of this tour must be made to obtain a protected appellation of origin. The Dorf Kaiserai, a typical family-run fromagerie of the village of Durenroth, receives milk every morning and afternoon from local farmers. 900 liters of unpasteurized milk are needed to make a single 100 kilo Emmental wheel. Once salted in a large bath, the fresh cheese is kept in a room at 20 degrees for two months to encourage the gas inside the cheese to form the famous Swiss cheese holes. Christina, the assistant cheesemaker, gets an idea of the cheese condition by tapping the cheeses with a special tool. This cheese has been aged for three months and is ready to eat. Aging the Grand Fromage longer results in harder but superbly tested cheeses, perfect as part of a mixed cheese platter. This Swiss creamy veal dish with potato roasty is famous all around the world. I peel and grate a boiled potato and mix it with a little onion, salt and pepper. I slice a few mushrooms and cut some veal tenderloin into thin slices. In a small fry pan, I heat a little oil and butter. I press the potato mixture in the pan to an even layer about one centimeter thick and cook it on each side for a few minutes. Next, I brown the veal in a little oil and butter and transfer it to a plate. The key is not to overcook the veal. I then add two tablespoons of chopped onion and sliced mushrooms to the pan, cook for a few minutes, and transfer the mushrooms to the plate with the veal. Add a little dry white wine to the pan, add some cream, and simmer for a couple of minutes. The veal and mushrooms are briefly reheated in the sauce. I place the roasty in the center of the plate and spoon the veal and the sauce around. It's better served with chopped parsley. Voilà, the Swiss classic of veau sauté or champignon et roasty. Next, we are in the Valais region in the French part of Switzerland to taste the local specialties.